During the Spanish-American War, Clara Barton, who was a worker for the Red Cross, was asked by Colonel Ted Roosevelt if he could purchase some of the medical supplies for his men. And she says, no, you can't. And of course, he went away a little disturbed by that. He asked, talked to somebody else about that, and he found out, yeah, you can't buy the supplies from the Red Cross, but they will be given to you if you just ask. It's the same way with salvation. Jesus said, ask and it will be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. So simple. If, if a son asks for bread from his father, is he going to give him a stone? If he asks for a fish, is he going to give him a serpent? If he asks for an egg, is he going to give him a scorpion? How much more will the heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask? All we have to do is ask. Ask and it will be given. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says, and you will be saved. It's so simple. It's a change of mind, which is repentant. It's, it's not doubting God anymore or believing lies, but it's simply believing the truth of the Bible, what God says, how you can get to heaven, how you can be born again, how you can become one of his children. In John 1, 12, as many as received him, that's Jesus, to them he gave the power to become children of God, even to them that believe on his name. Just ask. Go to the Father, the creator of all things, the God of the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and just simply ask. Ask him, tell him that you want to be forgiven of your sins. Lord, I want to go to heaven. Lord, I want you in my life. And he will show up. In fact, he's already there knocking on your heart's door. Just ask him to come on into your heart right now to forgive you of your sins, to be your Lord and Savior, and he will do that for you. You see, you can't buy salvation. It's a free gift from Jesus Christ. Just simply ask. God bless you.